Hi friends, it's Sunday. I wanted to make a little update of how I'm doing. I got home on Wednesday after my six day long stay in the hospital. Um, I feel like there is things that I need to update you guys on, but <laughs> I'm actually on my way now back to urgent care uh, or to the ER. I have most likely broken my toe. Can we work it out? Only time will tell. It's completely purple and it hurts like hell. I um, had a fall in the house yesterday, so last night before putting the kids to bed, I was moving from the sofa to the kitchen and my vertical made me really dizzy and I stumbled and I fell into a furniture and I think I have broken my toe. I did not realize how bad it looks from underneath so now I'm like freaking out a little bit but because I'm on so high pain relief from like my medication that I'm currently being treated for the uh, for the relapse and things like I think I didn't realize how bad it was <laughs> and uh, so now I'm getting ready to go to the ER to see if they can confirm if it's broken or not and they might have to put some kind of bandage or something because I'm struggling to walk now um, but I wanted to later sit down and talk to you a little bit about what the doctor said in the in the hospital and, and in the end what the conclusion of everything was with my stay if there was a pseudo relapse if it was a real relapse if it was whatever it was and and what I was diagnosed with um, because there's a lot, like there is a lot of details that's going into this kind of um, diagnosis and living with multiple sclerosis turns out to be far more complicated than I would ever have imagined. imagined. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what I'm doing now. I'm sorry for like the um, lack of like um organization in the in the videos but i feel like i'm just updating up updating updating as and when things are happening basically uh, thank you for sticking with me and thank you so much for your love and support i feel like you guys have really lifted me up both in prayers and in spirit for the past weeks and i just wanted to know how much i appreciate you guys um, and to all my new followers here, I try to stay positive, I try to like do a lot of positive content but I'm also very raw and honest in my vlogs, there is nothing that I would like hide or not record for the sake of a, like aesthetics in a video, I feel like um, I myself want to watch somebody that's going through the same as me in a real manner and not in a staged manner or just sit down videos i feel like we can feel so lonely in this diagnosis and if we can find a friend then i feel like that's so much more important um so i just want you to know that i'm here for you too um if you ever want to reach out or talk or whatever i'm here too so now let's go to the er because my foot is killing me <laughs> it's throbbing good morning friends as you can tell today i start my day with something very exciting <laughs> i am um, <clears throat> three days in my first week of like medication treatment thingy at home after getting out of the hospital and my mom kindly helped me get this pill organizer because it's quite overwhelming with all the things that i need to like keep track of so I'm on like three times a day various kinds of medications and I'm still taking a pretty high dose of steroids but pill form and you can see that some of these pills are now starting to get cut in half so I am supposed to follow like a ratio where I slowly wean myself off of them like bi-weekly or weekly so I have one dose for a week and then I have a lower dose the next week and so on and so forth. And then I have a lot of like pain relief and other kinds of things. Uh, I have to take my anti-vertigo, like anti-dizziness and nausea medication three times a day. And then I have some neurologic pain relief too in the evening time. And I just wanted to share with you this 
little pill organizer because it has been making my life a lot easier. I found it very overwhelming when I just got home to keep track of like all the things that I had to take and what time and how much and that kind of. So if you have the same struggle as me, then get yourself one of these ones. It's truly a lifesaver. And hopefully I won't have to use this for more than like a month. And then I can just put this aside and continue with just my keeping track of my vitamins. That would be the, the ultimate goal. Um, but for now I'm just sticking to this system and it's working fine for me. Hey friends, I just quickly wanted to do a little update. I'm in one of my client's house. I'm getting ready to welcome some new guests here. And I wanted to take the opportunity to show you what my walk-in is currently like when I'm walking up the stairs, because they have stairs here. I felt like I might as well just record that. Um, so since coming home from the hospital, my main struggles have been vertigo and balance um, and, and like strength in my, my legs. So I've been struggling with just walking and standing and walking up the stairs and all those things. Um, I feel like I'm getting better and better by the day, but it's a really slow process. I've been home now for about two weeks and uh, as you can tell, I've had time to do my hair. My mom had me come over to her house and she did my hair for me. Um, so that was one way she took care of me while I was being ill. She wanted me to have at least nice hair when I got back to work. And I'm slowly easing myself back into things. I'm trying to not overdo it. I'm trying to be mindful of all the things that I take on. And I try to rest in between. I really try to stay hydrated and I try my very best to get enough sleep. And then not letting myself feel upset if I feel tired or I have trouble walking or that kind of thing. So I try to sit down, I try to keep my feet up as much as I can and then help, let people help me. Not yet, the clients are not here yet, but I thought I would just <laughs> kind of let you enjoy the scenery. It's really beautiful here. This is one of our rental villas that we have and uh, I'm helping them with, you know, checking in, checking out, organizing all of the things uh, in the office and, you know, we have a really beautiful place here for people who want to come and stay and if you play golf, this is a wonderful villa to rent. I could show you quickly outside if you are interested. Um, but yeah, I also wanted you to just see that I'm doing much better, both mentally, physically, all the things. I'm still on really high dose of like medication, but I'm managing and um, I have to say that your help with like supporting me, sending me encouraging messages and always like just letting me know that you are there has been a godsend. You have really lifted me up. I have said this before, but you really lift me up both like emotionally and spiritually. And I thank you guys so much for that. And I don't know what I would have done without you when I was in the hospital day after day after day, just feeling sorry for myself and feeling like life wasn't fair and all of those things, you guys, you know, help me through so I want you to know that how much I appreciate you so as you can see the villa has a really beautiful yard you are right on top of the golf course and you have many nice places to sit and enjoy a meal or a glass of wine and that kind of thing you have a private pool here you have an outdoor shower little barbecue area just lovely here really I feel very privileged to to be here and to be able to 
offer this beautiful house as a rental option for my clients. But I'm gonna go in now because I'm really hot. <laughs> Don't want to get too hot. And then you have this beautiful little dining area. Lovely greens outside. It's very traditional Spanish style villa with beams and beautiful like wooden features and a lot of natural light. I would love to stay here. Can we work it out? Only time will tell. It's gonna take a lot because we've been through hell. I 